Do you use high resolution images or use screenshots for your website or use these same photos in a video? And do you optimize those same images for the web or in your video? Hi, my name is Michael Chow. And in today's video, you will learn how to optimize your photos with a Mac without Photoshop. I've always used Photoshop to optimize my images for the web. Save for the web function was a common practice when working with online images. Although it does a decent job of it, there are sometimes the files are still significant. For the past few years, I would run my images through a third party website that strips its metadata. Its algorithms make the photos smaller, but keep the quality intact. What I usually do, I would use Photoshop to resize my images to the size that I may need. For example, here is a picture of a husky from Unsplash, a royalty free image library database. The image is 1500 pixels wide or about 81 inches in width. I don't need this image that big. I may need it 1920 pixels wide for the website I'm designing for. If you have access to Photoshop and you don't know how, click on the above link to watch how to use saving for the web in Photoshop. Now most people who are watching this may have heard or used Photoshop and maybe some people don't have access to this. That's okay. If you work on a PC, click on the above link to watch the PC version on how you can optimize and resize images with a PC. And if you're on a Mac, one can use an application called Preview. We will open this in Preview and we can go to Tools, Adjust Size, and enter the actual size here. If you notice, you can see the dimension in pixels and inches here. I'm going to change my size to be 1920 pixels wide. My file size does go down to 2 megabytes to 276 kilobytes. That's a lot of space saving, but not only that, the image will upload and download quickly. But maybe I can squeeze a little bit more from it. And there is. Would you imagine this image was further optimized by 50% and still retain its quality? How? It's called tinypng.com or tinyjpeg.com. Both websites are the same and they take both file formats on each other's website. I've always used tinypng.com since the early days of 2012. One could upload the images through the website or you can purchase a plugin for Photoshop. For this tutorial, I will be using the free online tool. Not only that, but I also love seeing the difference in how much space I save when uploading my images online. Go to either tinypng.com or tinyjpeg.com. I am using tinypng.com in my example. Depending on which website you may use, one website uses JPEG and the other uses PNG. And again, both websites does take both file formats. When an image is uploaded to the website, it is processed and analyzed through the site. It looks at the colors and selectively decreases the number of colors in the image and removes any unnecessary metadata in the picture, reducing the file size dramatically. In my example earlier, the Husky image was saved down to 276 kilobytes using Preview. You can either drag and drop the image inside where it says, or click anywhere on the big button to browse and select your images. You will notice another 50% was reduced, and my final size is 132 kilobytes. If we look at this side by side, do you see any difference between the two? Having an image optimized for the web will download quickly on a mobile or tablet, but it's great for SEO practices too. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.